before you reach for that bacon beside your eggs this morning, Rose Reisman's going to break it down. Bacon, you hear about bacon everywhere. Bacon-infused lipstick, bacon-infused chips. Bacon-covered chocolate. Yes. Bacon, bacon -aise. Have you heard of that? bacon -aise, Mayonnaise Aise with bacon. Bacon-covered um, bacon chocolate. What else? Oh, there's a bacon club in the United States. It's bacon mania. And it's not just like fast food, it's casual dining and fine dining. Pork belly is everywhere. So I want to show you some treats now because we're still in the height of the exhibition and we're in, in treat affair, so you'll recognize a lot of this, but let's put it in perspective. First of all, good old bacon. Do you know, when you, when you end up sauteing or frying your bacon, Really well. Two slices, Dina, are only 30 calories and 30 grams of fat. Huh? So oh, 30 grams of fat. I'm sorry, three grams of fat. Thank say, you for wow. three grams of fat. Okay. So all you have to do is remember on the weekends a little bit of bacon is great, but Bacon Nation and Bacon Mania has gotten out of control. Right. So let's take a look at this. Um, this is great. This is it's like a Big Mac, but I call it rather a Pig Mac. Okay. So we've got a bacon infused bun. We have strips of bacon, pea meal bacon, and then a bacon patty. So what's a bacon patty? It's not a burger. It's taking all this bacon here, smooshing it up, and putting it into a patty. Super high in saturated Are you fat. ready? Yeah. 1,330 calories, 94 grams of fat in Too that itty-bitty. It's a ridiculous, but wait. It's like cooking up 82 slices of bacon in terms of fat, which is equivalent to four packages oh. raw. Now, and that's would you? One little that's sandwich. one. So, when you have this at the X or wherever else, just say to yourself, "It's not the day I'm going to heaven, but enjoy it today." Well, that's an artery clogger. It, it is. Oh, yeah. And look at from this bacon. I want you to see. What do you think that is? That's the trans that's fat. That's the fat from the bacon. So, when you're doing it, remember your arteries. You're, eat, you're, you're clogging you're your arteries with this much fat. But you know what? Come on, guys. Once a year, it's fine. But you know what? You could go to Harvey's and great, get a great Harvey, Harvey bacon cheeseburger. 500 calories versus 1330, 26 grams of fat versus 94. I love Harvey's burgers. I get their veggie burgers with a whole wheat bun all the time. There it's you a go. treat, right? So if you're going to get it, you let's can get a, a healthier date. version. Let's, let's go to Harvey's. Let's do it's it. good. All right. So now, this is another new one. It's a peanut butter milkshake made with peanut butter, rich ice cream, bacon inside the shake, and two strips of bacon on top. Like if you're too lazy to eat your <laughs> Come bacon, on, you got to right? drink you know, your bacon. 700 <laughs> calories for this couple sips, 47 grams of fat, the same as eating 10 little Reese's pieces in terms of the peanut butter cups, and I love these, but this is gone in two seconds. Yeah. Like, just imagine eating all this. Do you know Jugo Juice has an amazing peanut butter yogurt smoothie. It's good. so delicious when I picked it up. 273 calories versus 700 and five grams of fat. Yeah. Versus and 47. It, it gets rid of that sweet yeah, tooth craving. Get, All right, so this is great. Nutella BBBBLT. I can't say enough B's. Nutella and bacon? Nutella, nine strips of bacon, tomatoes, lettuce. Are you ready? 1,100 one. calories, oh. 68 grams of fat. And inside, the bacon is also smeared with Nutella. How do you eat okay. that? Okay. Pea meal bacon's in there as well. I don't know how you eat Seriously, that. Seriously, like knife uh, and fork? Look at that. Like, what is I, this? I had more fun doing this segment, oh, Dina. All right, man. so remember, when you have this at the exhibition, it is the same as going to Tim Hortons and having 15 barbecue chicken snackers in terms of Two fat. plates? Two plates. Or that. Or that. Up to you. Uh, it's, this one's a no-brainer. It's so ridiculous. But you could go to Tim Hortons and get their BLT, 400 calories. It's decent. If you just want bacon, 18 grams of fat. Okay? Seriously, Huge. like, you know how some things just look wrong, Rose Rice? Right, right. But, but look, like, look do you see the Nutella looks... there? That's the Nutella. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. What? Is the deal. Now here we go. The deep fried hot dog. You can't even if you open this up, you like can't honestly. even see the hot dog wrapped in bacon. This is what it looks like inside. Okay, that comes in at 624 calories, 53 grams of fat. Almost seems like a bargain to the rest of these oh, guys, see. huh? The same as eating 22 bite-size little sausage rolls in puff pastry in terms of calories. Same as that. Okay, so for calories, we're looking at the same. Or you could just have or a just regular have a hot fashion. dog. 250 calories for a hot dog, 13 right. grams of fat. Am I endorsing hot dogs? No. No, but you know what? Look at the difference. But they also have nitrate-free ones now. Absolutely. They have Absolutely. Gourmet Turkey. ones. Turkey. Yeah, and instead of the, the big bun, you can get a whole grain. Absolutely. All right, and finally, let's go on and see the deep-fried Mars bar. 
also wrapped in bacon, okay? This is wrapped in bacon, it's 575 calories. For a snack, essentially. 33 grams of fat, equivalent to three hot fudge sundaes at McDonald's in terms of fat. So what are we talking about? These are not that bad They're then. not that bad, it's a frozen yogurt. Better off, go ahead oh. and have a Mars bar on the way out of the supermarket for 234 calories and 11 grams of fat versus a 575. So a regular Mars bar is, on, is under 250 calories. Yeah, you know what, and, and again, am I saying this is a great snack? No. no. But you know what, so remember, you're going to these fairs, you're going to the exhibition, and you're gonna see now food trucks with bacon. Keep in mind what I've told you. If you don't want to have a heart attack leaving the exhibition, think twice. And it's that slow creep where you think, I'm just going to have a drink. Yeah. I'm just going to yeah. have one. And then you think, why don't my jeans fit? Right. And then the next week, you're into the same mode because a That's bacon it. is also addictive, Dina. Oh, is that a really fact? Really addictive. It's the lard that just gets the serotonin going okay, a little crazy. Okay, but what do you crazy. think about turkey bacon? Because I'm guilty of using that quite a bit. You know, I think it's better, but you're, you know, you're, then you're dealing with a lot of chemicals and nitrates. nitrates. I think in general, bacon, keep a couple slices with your eggs in the morning on a Sunday brunch. Got it. And At Rose Reisman, RoseReisman.com for more. Is it .com or .ca? Should know dot this com. Dot .com for more information on this. So if you are making the eggs, go for two pieces Absolutely. of bacon. Absolutely, you're fine. Enjoy. More BT right after this. Thanks, Rose, for baking it down. Baking I mean, breaking it down. It down. <laughs>